My dear friends, this is the book of Lamentations of Yirmiyahu. For those who are not able to attend the Tisha B'Av service, I am recording this for you. Echa yashva badad ha'ir rabat yam ha'ita ke'almana rabati bagoyim sarati ba'medinot ha'ita lamas b'choti ve'kebala ha'ila beti mata al lehayam. אין לה מנחם מכל אוהביה, כל רעיה בגדובה. היו לה לאויבים, מגלת יהודה מעוני ומרוב עבודה. היא ישבה בגויים, לא מצאה מנוח. קורות פיה היא שהשיגוה בין המצרים. דרך עציון אבלות. מבלי באי מועד כל שעריה שוממים כהניה נאנחים בתולותיה נוגות והיא מהרלה היו צריה לראש אוהביה שאלו כי אדוני הוגה על רוב פשעיה עול עליה הלכו שבי לפני הצער ויצא מן בת ציון כל הדרה היו שריה כאיילים לא מצאו מרעה וילכו בלא כוח לפני רודף זכרה ירושלים איה מעוניה ומרודיה כל מחמודיה אשר היו ממקדם בנפול עמה ביצר ואין עוזר לרעו הצרים שחקו על משפטיה חטא חטאה ירושלים על כן לנידה היתה כל מכבדיה הזילוה כי ראו ערוותה גם היא נאנחה ותשוב אחור טומאתה בשוליה לא זכרה אכירתה ותרד פלאים אין מנחם לראה אדוני את עוניה כי הגדיל אויב ידו פרס צר על כל מחמדיה כי ראתה גויים באו מקדשה אשר ציוויתה לא יבואו בה קהל לך כל עמה נאנחים מבקשים לחם נתנו מחמדיהם באוכל להשיב נפש ראה אדוני והביטה כי הייתי זוללה לא עליכם כל עוברי דרך הביטה וראו אם יש מכאוב כמכאובי אשר עולה ללי אשר הוגה אדוני ביום חרון אפו ממרום שלח אש בעצמותי וירדנה פרס רשת רגלי שבעה אני אחור נתנה אני שוממה כל היום דבר נזכר עול פשעי בידו יסתרגו עליו על צווריך של כוחי נתנה אני אדוני בידי לא אוכל קום סילה כל אבירי אדוני בקרבי קרא עליי מועד לשבור בחורי גת דרך אדוני לבטולת בת יהודה על אלה אני בוכיה עיני עיני יורד המים כי רחק ממני מנחם משיב נפשי היו בניי שוממים כי גבר אויב פרס הציון בידיה אין מנחם להציבה אדוני ליעקב סביביו צרב הייתה ירושלים לנידה ביניהם צדיקו אדוני כפי הוא מריתי שימונה כל העמים וראו מכאובי בתולותי ובחורי הלכו בשבי קראתי למאהבי המה רימוני כהני וזקני בעיר גבעו כי ביקשו אוכל עמו וישיבו את נפשם ראה אדוני כי צר לי מעיה חומר מרו נהפך ליבי בקרבי כי מרו מריתי מחוץ שקיל החרב בבית כמוות שמעו 
כי נאנח אני, אין מנחם לי כל אויביי, שמעו רעתי ששו, כי אתה עשית, הבאת יום קראת ויהיו חמוני, תבוא חורעתם לפניך, ועולה ללמו, כאשר עוללת לי על כל פשעי, כי רבות אנחותי וליבי דבי, איך רע... Chapter 2 Oh, how hath the Lord covered in his anger the daughter of Zion with a cloud? He hath cast down from heaven unto the earth an ornament of Israel, and he hath not remembered his footstool on the day of his anger. The Lord hath destroyed and hath not pitied all the inhabitations of Jacob. He hath thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He hath thrown down the, to the ground. He hath defiled the kingdom and its princes. He has hewn away in his fierce anger the whole horn of Israel. He has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy, and he burnt against Jacob like a flaming fire which devoureth round about. He bent his bow like an enemy. He held out his right hand as an adversary and slew all that were pleasant to the eye. In the tent of the daughter of Zion did he pour out like fire his fury. The Lord became like an enemy. He destroyed Israel. He destroyed all the palaces. He ruined her strongholds. And he increased in the midst of the daughter of Judah, groaning and wailing. And he violently wasted as if it were a garden, his tabernacle. He destroyed his place of assembly. The Lord has caused to be forgotten in Zion and solemn feast and the day of rest. He has despised in indignation of his anger both king and priest. The Lord has cast off his altar. He has made void his sanctuary. He has surrendered into the hand of the enemy the walls of her palaces. They have made their voice to resound in this house of the Lord as on the day of solemn feast. The Lord had resolved to destroy the wall of the daughter of Zion. He stretched out the, of his measuring line He withdrew not his hand from destroying, and he caused the rampart and the wall to mourn. Together they languish. Sunk into the ground are her gates. He has ruined and broken her bars. Her king and her princes are among the nations without any law. Her prophets also obtain no more any vision from the Lord. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground. They keep silence. They have thrown dust upon their head. They have girt themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem have brought down low their head to the ground. My eyes do fail with tears. My bowels are heated. My liver is poured upon the earth because of the breach of the daughter of my people, because babes and sucklings faint away in the streets of the town. To their mothers they say, where is corn and wine? When they faint away like the deadly wounded in the streets of the city, when their soul was poured out on the bosom of their mother. What shall I take to witness for thee? What shall I compare unto thee, O daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I find equal to thee, that I may comfort thee, O virgin daughter of Zion? For great like the sea is thy breach. Who can bring healing to thee? Thy prophets foresaw for the vain and deceptive things, and they did not lay upon the iniquity to cause the backsliders to return. But they foresaw for thee prophecies of falsehood and seduction. All that pass by this way clap their hands on account of thee. They hiss and shake their head, their hands on account of thee. They hiss and shake their head over the daughters of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that man called the perfection of beauty, the joy for all the earth? All thy enemies open wide their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, we have swallowed her up. Ah, uh, truly, this is the day that we hoped for. We have found, we have seen it. The Lord has done what he had resolved. He has accomplished his word, which he had ordained already in the days of old. He has thrown down and has not pitied. And he has caused to rejoice over thee, thy enemy. He has raised on high the horn of thy adversaries. Their heart cries unto the Lord. O thou wall, the daughter 
of Zion, let tears run down like a stream day and night. Allow thyself not rest. Let not the apple of thy eye be still. Arise, complain aloud in the night, in the beginning of the watches. Pour out like water thy heart before the face of the Lord. Lift up toward him thy hands because of the life of the babes that faint away for hunger in the corner of all the streets. See, O Lord, and behold, to whom has thou ever done the like? Shall women then eat their own fruit, the babes they have tenderly nursed? Or shall they be slain in the sanctuary of the Lord, the priests of the prophets? There lie down on the ground in the streets the lad and the ancient. My virgins and my young men are fallen by the sword. Thou hast slain on the day of thy anger. Thou hast slaughtered without pity. Thou hast called, as it were, on the festive day, my evil neighbors from round about. And there was not one day on the day of the Lord's anger, one that escaped or remained. Those that I had tenderly nursed and reared up my enemy brought to, to their end. Chapter 3. Ani ha gever aoni beshevet evrato otinahag vayola khoshek velo or ach ba bi yashuv ya poch ya do kol ayom bila besari ve orishi baratz motai banalai vaya kafrosh utla am be mahashikim haoshavi ani kemet olam. Gadar Badi Belo Etzeich Bide Nechashti Gameki Ezag Vashavea Satam Tefilati Gadar de Rachai Begazit Netivotai Eva Dovorevuli Ari Bemistarim Terachai Mos Sorer Vaifa Sheheni Samani Shome Tarach kashto vayatsi veni kamatar alachet hevi bechil yotai bene ashpota haiti sechok lechol amiyem neginatam kol hayom hisbani bamerumi mirvani lana vayagrez bechatzav shinai hikpashani baefer vatiznach. Mishalom nafshi nashiti tova va omar abanitzhi betochalti me adonai sechoroni umrudi la anavaro zachor tiskor vetashum alai nafeshi. Remembering this continually, my soul is bowed down deeply within me. Yet this answer will I give my heart, therefore will I wait in confidence. It is uh, through the Lord's kindness that we are not consumed because his mercies have no end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, said my soul. Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good unto those that hope in him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that one should wait and this in silence for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth, that he sit in solitude and be silent, because he has laid it upon him, that he put his mouth in the dust. Perhaps there is still hope, that he offer his cheek to him that smiteth him, that he be satisfied with reproach. For the Lord will not cast off forever, but though he have cause grief, yet Will he have mercy according to the abundance of his kindnesses? For he does not afflict of his own will and aggrieve the children of man to crush under his feet all the prisoners of the earth, to pervert the justice due to man before the face of the Most High, to subvert a man in his contest, should the Lord not see this? Who is he had that says, and it cometh to pass when the Lord has not ordained it. Do not out of the mouth of the Most High come both the evil things and the good? Wherefore should I, a living man complain? Let every man complain because of his sins. Let us search through and investigate our ways and let us return to the Lord. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto God 
in the heavens. We have indeed transgressed and rebelled, though hast truly not pardoned. Thou hast covered us with thy anger and made pursuit after us. You have slain, you have not pitied. You have covered thyself with a cloud that no prayer should pass through. As something loathsome and rejected, you have rendered us in the midst of the nations. Why have all our enemies opened against us their mouth? Any nigra velotid me en hafugot ad yashki veyere adunami shama imani oli lo nafshi mi kol benotiri so tsaduni kati poroi vaikhina Sametu Baghor, Chayai Bayadau, Evenebi, Safumahi Mal Roshi Amarati, Nigzaharati, Karati Shimcha, Donai Mi Botahtiot, Koli Shamata, Altalemos Nechali Rabahti Le Shabati, Karafti Beyomekra Eka, Amarta Altira, Arafta Donai Rivenafshi Galta Chayai, Raita Adonai Avatati, Shofeta Mishpati, Raita Kol Nikmatam Kol Machshevotam Li, Shamati Herpatam Adonai Kol Machshevotam Alai, Sifte Kamai Begyonai Alai Kol Hayom, Shivta Bekimata am habita ani manginatam ta shiv lahem gemul adonai ke maase yede hem titen lahem menina atlev ta alatecha lahem tirdof bea betashmide mitachat sheme adonai oh how is the gold become dim how is the most fine gold changed how are the stones of the sanctuary poured out at the corners of thy street the precious sons of Zion valued equal to pure, pure gold. How are they now esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? Even wild beasts offer the, be or offer the breast, they give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like the ostr ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the suckling cleaveth to its palate by reason of thirst. Babes ask for bread, there is not to break it for them. Those that used to eat dainty food are desolate in the streets that were reared up on a scarlet, now embraced with dung hills. For greater is the iniquity of the daughter of my people than the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as it were in a moment and no human hands were laid on her. Her crowned princes were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more brilliant in body than pearls, more than the sapphire, their continents. Darker than black is now their visage. They are not to be recognized in the streets. Their skin is shriveled fast upon their bones. It is dry. It is become like wood. Yede nashim rahamaniyot bishlu yaldehen hayu levarot lamu peshever batami kila donai et hamato shafach charona po vayatzet ish petzion vatochal yesodoteha lo he eminu malche eretz vechol yoshve tevel ki yavo tsar veoyev v'sha'ari Yerushalayim mehatot nevi'a avonot kohaneha shuvichim bekir badam tzadikim na'u ivrim b'chutzot nigalnu badam velo yochlo yigeu b'shuv lehem suru Kar ulamo suru suru altiga ukina tsukam nau ameru baguim lo yosifu lagur. They wandered about blindly in the streets. They became defiled with blood, so that men were not able to touch their garments. Depart ye unclean, they called out unto them. Depart, depart, touch not. So they flee away and also wander about. Men say among the nations, they shall no more sojourn here. 
The anger of the Lord hath divided them. He will no more look at them. The faces of the priests they respected not, and the elders they spared not. Even now our eyes anxiously wait for our valueless help. In our waiting have we waited for a nation that cannot help. They hunt our steps that we cannot walk in our streets. Or end, our end is near. Our days are full, for our end is come. Swifter were our pursuers than the eagles of heaven. Upon the mountains did they wholly follow us. In the wilderness did they lie in wait for us. The breath of our nostrils and the anointed of the Lord was caught in their pits. He of whom we said under his shadow shall we live among the nations. Be glad and rejoice, O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of Uz. Also unto thee thy cup shall pass. Thou wilt be drunken and make thyself naked, brought to an end in this iniquity. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into exile. He visiteth thy iniquity. O daughter of Edom, he will lay open the sins. Zechor Adonai mehayalanu, habita ure et cherpatenu, nachalatenu ne parale zarim, patenu le nochrim, yetomim hayinu ve en avi motenu ka almanot, memenu bechesev shatinu, etsenu be mihir yavou, al tsavarenu nirtafenu, yaganu belohu nat lahanu mitzrahim natanu yad. Ashunisht bohu ala chem avotenu chateu enam. Va anachnu avonotechem savahanu avadi mashlubanu. Porek en miadam. Servants rule over us. No one delivereth us, us out of their hand. At the peril of our life must be bring home our bread. Because of the sword of the wilderness. Our skin gloweth like an oven because of the heat of famine. Women have their va ravished in Zion, virgins in the cities of Judah. Princes were hanged up by their hand. The faces of elders were not honored. Young men they bore to the mill, and boys stumbled on, under their wood. Their elders have ceased from the gate, young men from their singing. Ceased hath the joy of our heart. Our dance is changed into mourning, fallen in the crown of our head. Woe to us, for we have sinned. Because of this, our heart made sick, for these things are our eyes dimmed. Because of the Mount of Zion, which is wasted, foxes walk about on it. O thou Lord, wilt truly abide forever. Thy throne existeth throughout all generations. Wherefore, wilt thou forget us forever? Will thou forsake us for so long a time? Cause us to return, O Lord, unto thee, and we will return. Renew our days of old, for wouldest thou entirely reject us? Be wroth with us to the uttermost. Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Benashuva, Chadesh Yamenu Kekedem. Cause us to return, O Lord, unto thee, and we will return. Renew our days of old. May God give us solace and comfort during these difficult holidays of Tisha B'Av, this moment of commemoration when we remember the first and the second temple being destroyed. And may we see better times ahead. Amen.